Hello everybody, in this Python tutorial we're going to go over how to create a bubble chart with labels for the bubbles. Okay, so it's going to look like this. We will also go over how to create a legend like this and put it outside of the chart. In one of our previous tutorials we went over how to create a simple bubble chart. However, in that tutorial we did not have the labels or a legend. Another difference in this tutorial is we're going to use pandas. Okay, so we're going to import some data into a pandas data frame. And then we're going to use that data frame to help us create our bubble chart. Okay, so the first thing we did is we imported pandas, matplotlib.pyplot as plt, matplotlib.patches as mpatches. In this example, we will be using the Jupyter Notebook. So in order to see our plot, we put in this little bit of code. Another thing we did is we used pandas.set option with the max columns of 10. So that way, when we look at our data frame, we can see all of the data. Now, to import the data frame, we use this code. Let's go ahead and take a quick look. The data that we're going to be using looks like this. Okay, so we have a table with five columns territory, GDP per capita, lifespan, population, and bubble color. Now most of this is some outdated information from Wikipedia. However, it should do just fine to help us create our bubble chart. So this is what we're going to pull in. And when we pull this in, it will be a pandas data frame. So to create the data frame, we use data frame equals pandas.readcsv. We use our path of where the file is on the desktop, and then we put in the name. Okay, now we've already gone ahead and run this, but let's go ahead and take a look at what the data frame looks like. So let's go down here, and this is what our pandas data frame looks like. Okay, now to create our scatter plot, which will end up being a scatter bubble chart, we use plt.scatter for the x argument. We're going to use data frame GDP per capita. For the scatter plot y argument, we're going to use data frame lifespan. Now, here for the size of the bubble, we're going to use the data frame column population. Now, notice that we have divided that by a thousand, and you can see the bubbles look pretty good. If we take that out, the bubbles will be so large that you won't be able to see anything. So let's go ahead and run that and show you. Okay, so you can see that currently, most likely one of the bubbles is so large it's taking up the entire plot. Okay, so that's why we divide that by a thousand. And really, you could put that at any scale that you would like, as long as the chart shows what you want it to show. Next up, since some of these bubbles overlap, you can see here, and here we have some bubbles that overlap. We want to put the alpha at 0.5 to set the transparency so you can see the bubbles on top of each other. For the C argument for color, we're going to use the data frame column bubble color. To add the chart titles and axis labels, we just use plt.title, x label, and y label. Now, to add the bubble labels, what we're going to do is we're going to assign the data from the data frame to the variable x. And as you can see, the x-axis is the GDP. Okay, so we're going to assign data frame GDP per capita to x. And the y-axis, you can see, is lifespan. And we're going to assign the data frame lifespan to the variable y. Next, to loop over the data, so we can put the territory names onto our bubbles, like this. We used a for loop. We typed out for i, comma text. We used the enumerate function. And then we used the data frame territory column. Then we use plt.annotate, which takes three arguments, which will be the text corresponding to each territory. And then this code tells us where the placement is on our chart, okay, for each bubble using the x-axis numbers and the y-axis numbers. 
Now, if you want to see exactly what each element is doing, we've used a print here. We've put in the I, which is here, the text, which is here. Then we've shown what each element is using the iterators for X and Y. We've also included the population for each territory using our iterator I and each color, okay? And all of that is here. So the I would be the index numbers here. The text would be the territories here. X and Y, which would be GDP and lifespan, those numbers are here and here. Here we have the population. Here's the population and the colors. You can see the colors at the end for each territory. Blue, pink, red, scion, and so on. Okay, so that's one way you could add labels to your bubbles. Next up, if you wanted to add a legend to your plot and you wanted the legend to be outside of your plot like this, then you can use code similar to this. So the first thing we did is we took the territory column from the data frame and turned that into a list. We did the same thing with the bubble color here. Then once we have our lists created, we're going to use them down here. Next, we created an empty list. We use a for loop to loop through a certain number of times, and that number will correspond to the number of rows in our data set. So that way, you can see there are 10 colors here, and that will help us to add the legend to the plot with the colors corresponding to each territory. Then we use our empty list dot append. We use mpatches dot patch. And for each patch color that you see here, we put in the color, the alpha transparency, and the label. Now since there are 10 of them, and we're using the for loop, and we're going to loop through the data to help us assign the territories to the color, we just use our iterators here and here. Now, finally, to get our legend to show up, we use plt.legend. We assign our list with all of the different patch colors and labels to the legend argument handles. Then, to make sure that this legend does not overlap our plot, we assign the coordinates here to the location argument. And if you wanted to move that around, you could play with that a little bit. So, for example, let's just say that we made that zero. We run it. You can see that the legend is placed in a different spot. So that's why we used 1.05 to move that off the chart. Now I believe this would be the X coordinate and this would be the Y coordinate. So for example, if we put in 1.05 here, this should move this legend up. Let's give it a try. Okay, so you can see it moved it up. Now let's move that back down. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. Obviously, the first thing you want to do is import the libraries. If you're using the Jupyter Notebook, make sure you put in the matplotlib inline command. You want to go ahead and pull in your data using pandas.readcsv to create your scatter plot with the data frame. Go ahead and put in all the arguments using the corresponding appropriate data frame columns. Here, we've gone ahead and created the chart title and axis labels. To create your bubble labels, you can use a for loop with the plt.annotate. If you ever want to remind yourself what each of these elements correspond to regarding the data, you can go ahead and use a print, and then just put in the iterator, the text, iterate over the x and y values, the data frame, population, and the colors. And that's what we have done here. And finally, to create your legend, we've gone ahead and used a for loop again. And then you want to use mpatches.patch. And to assign your legend, you use plt.legend. Assign your values to the handles. And if you want to move that legend, you can use the location argument and then put in the desired coordinates here. Okay, so that's all we have for this Python tutorial on how to create a bubble chart using pandas and matplotlib. 
We've also gone over how to add labels corresponding to each bubble and how to add a legend to your chart. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those and we'll see you next time.